Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Valerie here and today for today's video we're going to be doing a cherry filter inspired makeup look. So this is obviously inspired by the infamous cherry filter you guys all see on Instagram. Does Snapchat even have this filter? I think Snapchat has this filter. Anyway, I hope you guys um, stay tuned for more if you want to learn this look. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so we're going to jump straight into this. Um, the first thing you want to do when you do this look is that you want to actually prep your skin really well. So I've already cleansed and toned. Don't mind my friend right there. She's just chilling. I already cleansed and toned my face. And then now I'm going to go in with the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Mask before we put our base on. And I just got a free sample from Mecca because she's broke. But... Would definitely look into buying a full size one. I love the Glow Recipe. One of my favorite products from them is the Watermelon Sleeping Mask. That shit is so bomb. Because this is the mask, you want to kind of just let it melt into the skin. It's something that you don't have to wash off. You can kind of like put it on. Okay, once that's seep into your skin, you want to add on some more Glow products. This might seem weird, but I actually like to put sunscreen um, slash moisturizer. That's my glow product. So I used this Cetaphil slash um, moisturizer slash sunscreen. And it has SPF 50 in it. And I think that's what caused the glow to really pop in. So we're just going to go in with that. Ice coffee break. <sighs> Then I set that with my Ben Nye Neutral Powder, which is running out. I kind of just lightly use a big brush like this one. This is from Tarte. And kind of just dab it on and kind of lightly coat the sunscreen. Because I'm an oily person, so this is really important to making my makeup last all day long and make sure it doesn't crease. Once that's all set, we're going to go in with... Some setting spray, I used my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. And while that dry, I'm going to go in and reach for my primer. I used the Becca First Light Priming Filter. It is an instant complexion refresh, so it's purple tinted and it has a lot of glow to it. So I just put that on the high points of my face. And that's pretty much it for the base. So once we have our skincare done, we want to go straight into brows. So I use the Benefit Brow um, Zing. It is honestly one of the best products in the world for brows. So I use the shade 4. So this is a taming and shaping kit. It usually comes with a brush. So I kind of use this angled brush right here. I don't know if you can see that yet. Yeah. And just dip into the wax shade which I have a lot and then I kind of just kind of lined that bottom that's how I do my brows and then I kind of go to the top and shape it here and then slowly start to come up the top then I use this end of the brush which is the other end which is the flat top and just go into this powder and then start to fill it all in. So that's kind of how I do my brow. And then I'm going to do the other side. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some concealer to carve that all out. And as well as set my eyes. So I kind of used this pot of Kevin Aquant concealer from Mecca that I got a free sample of. Um... What you can learn from the tutorial is that I'm just broke as shit. But honestly, this is how much they gave me. And I've been just using all of it. Um, this is the shade SS07. So this is the Sensual Skin Enhancer. It's honestly so pigmented. I'm definitely thinking of buying this in the full size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So we go in with a Benefit Brow Gel. Um, this is in the shade 4.5 and it is the Gimme Brow Fiber Brow Gel. This is just to give the hair some life and kind of darken it a little bit and set your brows in place. Okay, so that's brows done and then now what I like to do is go in with the same concealer and kind of put it all over my lid because it is time to do our eye makeup. So for this cherry inspired look, I've decided on a red cut crease and like a green like middle kind of color and like a white in the corner and some liner. Like a re really like almost Christmassy theme makeup but hopefully it doesn't come off as Christmassy. This concealer is so pigmented, guys. It's just, it's amazing. Like, I am blown away by how thick and, like, amazing it is. So once we got that concealer laid up, we are going to go straight into the James Charles palette. So we're going to go into this red shade right here. Set that off. And we're going to just go into a crease. And now we're going to go into that. I like to go into this kind of Makeup Revolution and double up in that red with this shade right here. So this is the Makeup Revolution palette. It, it's the Life on the Dance Floor guest list palette. So this shade right here and I'm just gonna go double up in that red. It looked like a fucking bird. So once we got that in, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to a concealer. I'm gonna cut that crease. So I cut my crease with this concealer again. And I used this brush instead and I kinda swirl it all around. And I'm going to cut my crease. Not how far we're going to cut our crease. And then we're going to go into a green color. Okay, we're gonna go into this green in this James Charles palette and then we're gonna tap it all over where we cut a crease. So like that. It looks fucked up right now, but I swear it looks so good in a minute. <laughs> no 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 I just kind of feel like a parrot or like a yeah, a Christmas themed parrot, but I promise I hope this turns out good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some white eyeliner and I actually used the Kat Von D tattoo liner in white out. This is for brows, but the Sephora girls told me that they use it actually for um, white liner. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna wet this brush. I'm gonna dip it in. This is like a Morphe paintbrush. I'm gonna put out a setting spray into it and I'm gonna go into that inner corner. So I'm gonna line that. Yeah, I do look like a fucking parrot, but that's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with our foundation before we finish this whole thing. I know I look f fucked up right now, but let's go into foundation. <laughs> so for foundation, I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. So I used the shade Stromboli. Mmm. Mmm. So bomb. What? 
I look like a parrot, <laughs> but it will come together soon. <laughs> I do. <laughs> this is straight up angry bird to my face. <laughs> I'll come together soon. I promise. <sighs> And then I put concealer on my nose. Like, this is my first time trying out this look on camera. So if it doesn't go well, don't blame me. <laughs> and let's blend these bitches out. This is a Morphe face brush right away. So now, once that's done, I like to go in with this thing and kind of go into here. And what we're going to do is we're going to line that green. That. Coming down like a liner. It's so hot. I'm actually kind of in love with the eye look now. I don't hate it anymore. So once you got your concealer on, we're gonna bake. So you bake with this. It's a makeup revolution powder. Fuck, oh my god. We dust that all the way on here. And then we get a beauty blender to go right in. We wet the beauty blender. Like that. And then I'm going to go here. Just to cinch that nose. Give myself a nose job. And then the remaining powder. While we let that set. We're going to go in with some liner. So I go in with just my Stila All Day Liner and just blend that shit. And then we're going to put lashes and then we're going to do a contour. And then we're almost done. So for lashes, I like to go in with my Lash Doll Lashes, which is... Again, the plug, so good, so bomb. So, this is made by my friend Sharon, who owns her own brand. You know, she's a boss babe, and these are her lashes. Like, they're kind of fucked up because I already used them, but um, they're so good. So, this is in the Style Buttercup. So I will put her at down below if you're interested in getting some lashes, especially if you live in the New Zealand area. So they're kind of like perfect. Um, these are so winged out and fluffy. Can you see that? Oh my god. Um, and let's get on to putting lashes on. I love lashes, but I hate putting them on. You see, like they make. So much of a difference, though. We're not even close to being done. Fuck. And we're done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wipe the bake off. And finish how I look. So I wipe the bake off here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this. And I'm going to go underneath with some red. And then we're going to go in with some contour. So this brush, and I use my Becca Be Light palette. You guys know this is my contour palette. I've always used this. I go in with the lighter shade and kind of just bronze everything up. And then I'm going to go in with my fan brush and then dip into this dark shade right here. And for my contour, my nose contour, I go in with the shade, 
the same contour palette and just run it down my nose. And then now, what I'm going to do is I am going to draw cherries on my face. So what, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use this thing. Fill up how. I like that and then I'm gonna draw one here too honestly if I can do this look you can do this look now I'm just gonna fill that in I'm gonna go and dip that in the color oh so cute how cute and now Here's how you do some fake freckles and then a light spattering of brush. For the fake freckles, what I like to do is I like to go in with this and I go back into the James Charles palette and I go in with shade right here. You want them to almost appear kind of really cartoony. Now blush. So for blush, we want to keep it very, very light. Very, very light. I would go in with this Milani brush, which is kind of broken now, but whatever. It's a baked blush. And just kind of lightly tap it over here. From here. Just very lightly tap it over your nose. That's almost it. We're nearly there. We're gonna go in with some lips. For lips, we're gonna do a red lip and we're gonna use some liner. So what I like to do is I like to use this liner. Just use any red liner and kind of go over your lips. I used MAC Devoted to Chili. I'm going to kind of pat everything with like powder. And that's the makeup done. And there you go guys. That's basically the whole fit. So I wore this top. I don't know where I get it from. I think my mom got it for me. And then these extensions are superior hair. And yeah. That's pretty much the whole makeup look. Honestly, I'm kind of obsessed with it. Like, I'm actually so glad with how the eye look turned out. And yeah, so if you guys want to stay tuned for more, make sure you click the notification bell and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.